Hey everyone, what's up? I am back again with a live and decided to go ahead and do some nails tonight. So, um, I see that there is a, you know, a few people in here, a few return customers. <laughs> um, but I hope all y'all doing great. So this set is going to be, um, as by the title, um, ice cream, I mean, glass ice cream drip nails and I kind of had a vision going on in my head that I wanted to do and so um, yeah we're gonna get started so for this design I'm going to do tips and um, yeah so I have these tips set out these tips are um, actually from Banggood um, they just come in like this bag here 500 pieces and I like these these are like a shorter type you know nails um, I mean tips they're not as long as the uh, BU nails that I use because I'm not you know trying to go for that long tonight all right so um oh and also I um, will be trying out this aunt uh, peel off base coat um, I tried it out on Miss Keisha's hand that I did with the 4th of July uh, nail design and that was um, my silicone practice hand um and the design popped right off so i was like bet now i can you know try it on my nails and you know do some more designs quicker um all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get started so i already got the tips um you know size that i need and so i'm just gonna uh glue them on using the ibd brush on nail glue a quick question <laughs> can we switch the well no never mind I'm sorry never mind <laughs> sorry y'all talk to the hubby all right so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on all right and you just need a little bit of glue a lot of people always ask me to do tips and I prefer sculpting, but you know, tips aren't bad. The thing, I mean, they take just as much, you know, skill and effort to put tips on as it does with um, sculpting. So I don't necessarily think one is easier than the other. I just prefer to sculpt. But at any rate, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these on. And the thing is, you have to make sure that the dang on tip is straight before it starts to sit. And it looks like the glue is taking a little bit longer to dry on top of this peel off base coat, but that's cool. Yeah, it's like this gluing part takes forever. It's one of the things I don't like about it, but oh well. It's fine, it's fine. All right, so while I'm waiting for this glue to dry, let's see. Uh, Jennifer says, hello from California. What's up? Antar Sims is asking who's from Baltimore. Um, let's see, Takara is saying, I'm from Louisiana, what's up? Thank y'all for tuning in. Let's see, Caressa says, try IBD top coat. I can't make any promises because I love the Poochie's top coat, so. <laughs> oh man. All right, so I wasn't paying attention and, and glued this one on Cricut. We will fix this. All right, so with the <laughs> the peel off base coat, it comes right off. So what I'm gonna do is 
reapply my base coat to here and we're gonna try this again so I'm just gonna take a little bit of acetone and get it off so I can have a nice smooth layer I also need to get another tip out all right I need to concentrate on what I'm doing so <laughs> But yeah, this peel off base coat is the truth. I don't know why I didn't use this or try it out sooner. It does take a long time to dry. It takes about five minutes. So by the time I circle back around, it should be dry. All right, so, uh-oh, this is in the way. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, continue to glue these on. Paying attention to what I'm doing this time so I won't get them. Uh, let's see, someone's, Riley's asking, did I get the top coat from Simply Neological? Um, no, I actually got this um, from Amazon. Um, I would definitely try to leave the link somewhere, well, probably after the, after the live stream. But yeah, I got this from Amazon. I do like the shape of these tips though. Um, I like my tips to be like flat so I can build my own apex and curve and stuff. Like I don't really like my nails to be super, super curved. So I really like these. They do run awfully small though. Like the sizes that I had to pick are about maybe two sizes up from what a normal set of acrylic I mean of tips to be yeah like so like for my thumb I'm using a size zero and usually my thumb is like a size I want to say a one or a two so yeah these run pretty small but they cute though all right so I need to Okay, mm, I might can get some glue on there. Oh, uh, shoot, I forgot what size I picked. Yeah, and like for my pinky, I'm usually like a, I think a eight. And I had to go up to a seven on these because they, they are really small. I 
I really like these tips, so I think I may buy a tray and, I mean, a case or something for them and put them in there because I really hate dealing with all of these bags. Oh, and I ended up grabbing two. Let's try this again. <laughs> Make sure this is sturdy before I move on. All right, so all of the tips are on. That wasn't too painful. <laughs> um, so let me just set this, okay. All right, so because I do have on that peel off base coat, I'm not going to do any uh, priming or anything like that because you know, I'm just gonna do these nails and probably take them off. Um, so that, but you know, if you were actually doing your nails to last, you would do your whole prepping and uh, dehydrator and primer and all that good stuff um but like i said i'm not gonna do that so and because I'm, I'm doing tips it's easier for me to work on a surface here so um i'll be working on this instead of you know draping my hand over the bottle like i normally do um so i'm just going to go ahead and just um do these nails using a clear acrylic first um, to make the base that I need. And I finally cleaned my number eight brushes, so. I'm back to normal now. Okay, and I like how flat these tips lay against my nail, so I didn't really have to do any blending. But I don't know if you can like really do filing on top of the base coat anyway if you wanna if you want it to be able to peel off. that down and I will be going in with a little bit of the angel glitter as y'all can tell this is like my favorite glitter <laughs> um, but you know to kind of give that glass effect I just don't want it to be clear I want it to have some shimmer in it as well Ooh, I like how that's turning out already
and I'm just picking up a really tiny bead of clear and then dipping it in the glitter um, and I want the glitter to kind of be spaced out so I'm not really packing it on very densely in areas like I, I want it to kind of just be randomly spaced out if that makes sense ooh that is turning out really pretty and I really like the shape of these tips I don't have to do too much <laughs> Sher Sherita Lee is saying hey Evie rum and nails on a Saturday night I hear that that sounds lovely <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to lightly cap this. So what I'm going for is obviously this glass tip base. And then I'm going to do some 3D ice cream drips on it. So I don't want this nail to be really thick. Well, obviously, you know, we want a nice cylinder nail. So just trying to work with the acrylic. Um, just using what I need and also trying to keep it smooth so I don't have to do too much fouling. And I am just going to repeat the same, well, no. This one, the ring finger is going to be a bling nail. So this is just going to be plain clear for right now until I add the bling later. Cause I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I posted a old video of the super blingy nails I did where it was like bling, full bling nail on every nail except for uh, one. And I really, really like that. And I did that probably back in October. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to do, well, sooner or later, I will be doing a full bling set. But for right now, I just wanted to um, incorporate one bling nail. And this is the perfect length for it as well. I am super curious to see how this uh, peel off base coat is gonna do. Like I said, it, it worked really well for my silicone practice hand. Like I was able to pop those nails right off. Like the reason why I'm so shocked about that is because if you guys saw either the live or the video, I was doing some, you know, fouling. Like it was just regular fouling and those nails didn't, didn't budge. So I didn't know if they were actually going to come off. But with a little prying, they just popped right off. All right. Trying just to make sure that the acrylic is smooth. y'all really like these lives this is such a shock I, I really didn't think that people would want to sit here 
<laughs> and watch every little detail. Because this takes some time, y'all. Well, as y'all can see by how long these live streams be. Okay, I think I'm liking the shape of that. All right, so that one is good. Nope. Just need a one more bead towards the nail bed. So then I'm just going to repeat the um, clear and angel glitter mix. acrylic is still wet I'm just gonna plop this in here not that piece like this
I always make sure to try to make sure that the tip is covered, especially with the pointy nails. If the tip is weak, it will just break off. It is just something about this angel glitter. I just love it. Just want to add a little bit more. like this one
just a little bit more. to my middle finger as well. I want the apex to be just a little bit. flat so you really have to build up your apex and everything but I like doing that so I like to have the freedom to do that instead of having super curved nails all right and for the thumb let's see if I can get this I'm also filming for the actual video, so <laughs> that is why I'm trying to make sure I am in frame with my big camera. Patrima Gilbert. Thank you so much for the $3 super chat. That was so awesome. And she says, peace and love. Thank you. Peace and love to you as well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so I can pick up some nail supplies because these nail supplies ain't cheap <laughs> ahead and encapsulate this as well shoot if you didn't want to do too much craziness you can leave the nails like this but this is not enough for me for them to be like just glitter I need something extra because I'm so extra
right, that is coming along. Making sure I get the liquid out of it so I can get really close to the cuticle area. Just need a little bit more on the tip. Uh, Kathy Cervantes, she said, get some glitter, girl. Love me some. <laughs> Thank you so much for the $2 super chat. I really appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let these um, go ahead and set, and then I'll be ready to do my shaping and filing. And since this monomer ain't too dirty, we gonna cover that up and use that for later. Uh, well first, oh, I need to make sure I got all of the acrylic out this brush. I just cleaned these and I don't want to have to clean them again. All right. All right, so now I can get in this chat. Let's see. <laughs> Aaliyah Schaefer says, I might be impatient, but when does the ice cream come, come in? <laughs> it's coming. To, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Patrima Gilbert says, I remember when I was sad getting my nails done and getting a wig and getting hair done made me feel better. Absolutely. Like when I'm in an awful mood, like if I start to sit down and do my nails, I feel so much better. Like I swear it is like therapy. <laughs> Let's see, Netwist asks, where do you get your monomer? Um, I use the, uh, I got the bottle around here. I use the uh, ASP Bonding Acrylic Liquid. Um, I get this from Sally's Beauty Supply and I like that it is, um, it doesn't really have a strong odor to me. I mean, everybody's different, but I like this one. Um, it's accessible and since I do my nails so often, I go through a lot of monomer and I don't plan ahead, so I like that it's that sad if I can just run and pick some up. See, Marcel Mado says, oh, <laughs> exactly, I always try my best to keep the acrylic from my cuticle, but it tends to get on them. Yeah, I used to have a problem with that a lot. Like, if you guys watch the, um, of reacting to my old nail videos like it was so cringy to watch because I was just not even caring about the cuticle area um but I find that you know really draining your bead out and getting it um not really close but kind of close to the cuticle area and then use your brush to kind of push it up as close as you can um that works for me Oh, 
Let's see. Letty Tay 2, you old Kurt, <laughs> uh, asks, how are you able to do the other hand with nails on? Um, super easy. Um, I surprisingly can do a lot with <laughs> nails on. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I guess it's like, you know, for the girls who wear heels, like I'm not really a heel wearer, so I can't really walk in them all that well, but it's some people who can walk, jump, dance, and run in them. So, you know, to each their own, but I can do a lot with the nails. Uh, Deandra is asking, what size brush are you using? Um, I use the number eight uh, Kalinsky brush and I got that from Alpha Brush. Leslie Ferguson asks, will you be coming out with nail tips, forms, dual forms, and or monomer? <laughs> That is a lot. <laughs> um, eventually, I would love to grow the store to be like a all-you-need one-stop shop. Um, but, you know, I'm just a small gal, small business owner. And um, it, it takes a lot to, ex to expand. <laughs> so, um, in due time, definitely. Layla De La Cruz is saying, I love your live. I remember when I was 14, I used to love doing nails. I have a bag with 50 bottles of polish that I don't even use now. I haven't tried the Kiss Nail Art Nail Kit. <laughs> yes, I love nails too. And I really appreciate you liking the lives. Like, I'm still really shocked that, you know, so many people love the lives like these are so cool to do because I like to interact with you guys you know in real time Marissa Wolf is asking what time is it there where you live um I'm in Nashville and it is was that 10 49 p.m. Nari Hand said, for a split second, I thought the live froze. Her hand wasn't moving. I refreshed the page. <laughs> I guess it was pretty still, huh? <laughs> All right. I think these might be... Let's see. Leslie Payton is asking, is your husband your business partner? Yes. <laughs> we are business partners. So, yeah. She's stuck with me. <laughs> she can't get away from me. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and get to the shaping. It shouldn't take too much because, you know... I tried to keep these nice and smooth so I don't have to do too much because I don't like filing all that much, really. All right, so busting out the nail dust collector. I hope it just still plugged in. Okay, yeah, it is. All right. Just a second, y'all. I need to get <laughs> I need to get some Whoa. shots for my for the video. <laughs> All right, hold on. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to end the stage left. <laughs> Let's get this mic. Um, all right, so uh, some of you guys know I love to use the, um, I get these nail files from Sally's and these are the 100 slash 180 grit nail files and you, um, I think from the last feed I was telling you guys how they're always out of stock, 
but the lady told me that they stock on Thursdays and they'll be on the shelf on Friday so what I do I went there and bought the whole shelf I have 10 of these now so so yeah just gonna go ahead and just clean up the shape I like to start off on the 100 grit side And then I flip over to the 180 side um, because I don't want to take off too much acrylic. I just want to smooth it out a little bit. <laughs> you may need to come back. You're killing me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I have to set it one way for the video and then I have to turn it the other way once I'm once I'm done. I know what I do. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it don't take all that. Oh y'all. The bag flew off on one quarter, so it was just dust flood everywhere. Look at this. <laughs> This is what I was just breathing. They probably can't see it. Oh man. Okay, so yeah, let me let me dump this bag real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of dust in here. <laughs> Get away from you. I'm telling you, man. This is why I need that Valentino. All right. Of course, I won't be able to slip it on easily. I'll let them watch you struggle. <laughs> there. Ooh, in your face. Okay. <laughs> Silly. All right. So, yeah, I kind of try to show y'all what I'm doing in my videos, but the majority of the following is done off camera. Hey, why is it sliding like this? Oh, okay. All right. And like I said, I don't need to do too much because we're keeping these nice and simple and thin. Well, not, you know, too thin, but. And I pretty much like the shape. Like, these tips really did come in a nice shape. Uh, beautiful black. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I really, really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much. Like, all of these super chats are definitely going in the nail, sub nail supply um, jar. <laughs> Cause like y'all don't know how much like I go through so much monomer it's ridiculous but everything is really um, appreciated so thank you so much like it's so crazy you guys are so awesome all right I just think I want to clean up this side Red Bone, yeah, she um, says one day I'm gonna have enough to shop on LHPN.com. <laughs> Thank you so much for the two the two dollars super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. You guys are so awesome. I'm so overwhelmed, man. I can't even get through this falling. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I like I like that. All right, but yeah, like I was saying with this um peel off base coat, 
Like, as you can see, I'm filing the way that I normally do. And these nails aren't budging. So this is definitely an option for those who don't really plan on keeping their nails on long. And of course, I will update you you all with a video of me, you know, popping them off and stuff. I did one with the silicone hand. Um, I filmed that earlier, so I will definitely get that up and show y'all how easy the nails pop off. It's crazy. Alicia Brianna says, I love the necklace. Oh, you can't see my necklace. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know the camera was that far up. <laughs> yes, this is my favorite Hello Kitty pendant. I've had it for so long. This one is just rounded a little bit too much for my liking. This Nia's mom, she's asking, do you only hand file? No, I like to start off with the hand file and then I just do like the cuticle areas. I like to finish that up with the e-file. Um, to me, it's just easier because, you know, I'm not that good with the e-file yet. And sometimes I take off too much or I nick myself and it's not fun. So... And I just think I get the perfect, um, you know, shape and everything that I get with the hand file first. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the technique I'll start doing. Awesome. I would love to see how it works out for you. It works out great for me because I'm not even going to try to play. I am not an expert with the e-file yet. You want me to do your nails? <laughs> <laughs> she said that would be a good video. I think it would. We'll have to really get the hubby on board. He's like totally against anything well, him not, doing it's nails. Not, even that. not that you got to peel off basil like I'm gonna tear them nails up. Oh, you, know. <laughs> you can't walk around with them nails after I'm done. So now I know you can pop them off. Oh my 
Come on, look at you. You you didn't want to do some awful nails and then I have to soak them off. Right, tell people I did them. That's terrible. <laughs> I got thousands of people seeing my shoddy work. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We might do that. I might play along. Yes, I've seen so many my boyfriend do my nails, and they be like so funny. All right. Um, and then I like to go back over the nails with the 180 grit uh, just to smooth out any scratches that may have came from the 100 grit, 100 grit side. And it also kind of smooths off the edges. So, you know, although these nails are pointy and they look sharp, they're really not. They're like dull at the, at the end. switch out this uh, drill bit because that was from earlier well yeah I like to use a medium grit safe safety bit and I like the safety bits because you know I have a less chance of cutting myself um, but yeah this is what I was talking about um, about finishing around the cuticle area it just makes everything nice and flush was just a little too chunky at the cuticle.
right, so then I just like to go back over it with the 180 grit file just to, um, you know, smooth out any scratches I may have gotten from the E file. off with buffing and I just use the orange buffing block medium fine grit and I like to use the fine side just to smooth everything out do that smart that final smoothing well thank you so much Patrina Gilbert for the another two dollar super chat thank you so much and she says wow it's your passion a gift we all have gifts absolutely and <laughs> the crazy thing is that even though like i've been i guess you know good at nails i never thought that like i would actually do stuff with nails if that makes sense like I just like to do mine so when I started posting the nail videos and stuff like I was just really shocked at how everybody was drawn to it and I'm just like little on me <laughs> but I really appreciate it like I really love nails and once again I'm just gonna buff out the edges in the corners because I ain't trying to scratch myself either. Alright, so we are done with the filing. Alright. Uh oh. Well, that's a mess. <laughs> All right, so I need to clean up my area a little bit because the dust was blowing everywhere. moving on to the ice cream drip um so i will be using um where is it oh <laughs> okay so i'm gonna be using white acrylic to make my ice cream drips and i'm using uh this 3d brush it is a number two um kalinsky you know 3d brush i got it from banggood a while ago but I'm not sure if they ever restock these so um, alpha have some very great 3d brushes as well um, you know so you just have to find something that works that's you know small and have a really nice point on it all right so there will be ice cream drips on all the nails except for the ring fingernail, which is going to be my bling nail. All right, so I'm just getting the monomer and everything. All right, so I have this vision in my head. Let's pray if this will come out the way that I want it to. I'm 
gonna start this way first. So the idea I have is to have the drip starting at the cuticle area and then dripping down the nail. And um, so you guys know that I did ice cream nails a couple months back with the sprinkles and the um, gel dripping down the nails. Um, I wanted to do something like that, but this time I wanted it to be 3D, of course. So, okay, that's starting to look drippy-ish. Oh yeah, that's really drippy. Exactly like I envisioned it. Come through, drip it, drip, drip. <laughs> <laughs> Regina, that song has been in my head all day. I think that's probably why I decided to do these nails. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna leave that drip. You gotta space out the drips for it to really make an impact. If you put too many, it's just gonna look too bunched up. work with whatever color acrylic you're doing when you're doing drips you need to work a little more wet so you can get that drip in effect but obviously not too wet where you're flooding the cuticles And also because I have that peel off base coat on, I can't go over it. I can't like go over the like edges. Otherwise I won't be able to pop these off.
And this will probably take the most time getting these drips the way that I want them. A goat just jumped the fence. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, alright, well, peace out. <laughs> go, go catch the goat. Bye, girl. Make sure that goat don't get too far, girl. I'm working. It's still shaking. I, I, I don't even know where, what these cameras doing. <laughs> My bad. Is it still shaking? Okay, I'm gonna try to stop it. Okay. That's better. That's how y'all know this is this is real, <laughs> live and un, uncut. to work a little bit more on smoothing all of this out. Like I really wanted to have that raised 3D look. raise this pinky a little bit too. I thought this 3D brush was gonna be too small, but this is actually perfect.
All right, this drip is a little struggly, but we gonna work it out. <laughs> <laughs> So I got real quiet, had to concentrate. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I like. Okay. All right. And then for the thumb. All right. Since this cuticle is the widest. We're just gonna work one side at a time.
right, so got that basic shape down and now I'm just gonna fill in the spaces. That bee was just a little too big. I'm going for a tiny drip this time. Yeah, sometimes when you're doing your own nails, you gotta hold your hand. Some weird ways. I'm gonna do one tiny drip at the tip. Just gonna add a little bit more to the bottom of this one. Okay, so uh, just checking it, making sure I like the thickness of everything. I uh, think I'm gonna go back in on this index finger here and kind of just make this a little bit more plump.
bringing a little more plumpness to this side here. And that is why it is important to look at your nails from all angles. Because from the angle that I was working, I couldn't really see that this one wasn't um, like evened out enough. I'm gonna let these uh, dry a little bit. I don't really have to, you know, we're not doing filing or anything on top of these. So I'm just waiting for them to dry a little bit. That was fun. <laughs> All right, so, oh, and you always want to make sure brush is completely free of product. I love this brush because it comes with a cap so the point can stay nice and pointy and undisturbed. All right, so um, I will need a gel brush. Okay, so what I decided to do was um, so I do like the, you know, the white drips. I'm gonna keep one of the nails white and then I have these uh, smoothie gel polishes from Madam Glam and they are really, really pretty. They're like a sheer type thing and they have like little specks and stuff. I think um, these look really close to sprinkles. So I was gonna put these on um, three of the ice cream drips and then leave one of the ice cream drips uh, white and then you know kind of draw some sprinkles in on those so I think I probably will leave the middle finger white and then I'll color all the other ones all right so the acrylic is set Um, okay, so uh, the first color, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is called Spike Cotton Candy. It is so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the, um, yeah, it's like a nice transparent type thing. So it will look really good over white. And it has like that glossy kind of transparent finish with these little sprinkles in it. I mean, these uh, glitter bits which look like sprinkles so I think it looks like ice cream um so I'll be using um trying to use this brush that comes with it and then I'll touch up with my gel brush if I need to trying to walk it around the nail so I can get some of those glitter bits. Oh, that looks really good. Sexy and loyal is back and she called Poncho her goat. <laughs> Poncho! Her goat. I, that's, that's adorable. That is the cutest <laughs> name. Well, I am so glad you got Poncho. We don't need him getting um I mean, so like, you got a show enough goat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people still have animals, farm life and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
this turned out so well. I got these gel polishes in the mail a while ago and I was like, what am I gonna do for these? I really liked the color and everything, but you know, they are really sheer. So, you know, it will only work if you're going for like a nice sheer look. I'm trying to get a little speck, at least one. There we go. Got a drip on there. All right. I like that. I'm just going to make sure, turn my hand this way to make sure that all of it, all of the white is covered. So it looks like I did some, some work. <laughs> all right. I'm just using the brush to move around any bits of glitter. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't like this bit of glitter on there. <laughs> All right. I really, really like this idea. Sorry, I know my thumb is in the way. Yeah, you oh, all right. <laughs> Can't nobody see anything. <clears throat> I just gotta make sure this is right because I need to cure this before it starts to move. All right. You can't tell me that I don't look like ice cream. <laughs> uh dang it. You didn't even get it. I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, yeah, it's still plugged up. I normally have my uh, LED lamp ready to go, but. Okay, Damn. all right. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm sorry, you have to fix this. Yeah, you just tacking it. All right, so I'm just uh, carrying this gel polish here. Ow! I'm carrying this gel polish here for 60 seconds. Oh, look at the hubby trying to trying to get the hand in there. You know, little, little camera work. <laughs> Alright, I like that. Okay, so like I said, I was going to keep the middle finger white. I think. I don't know. We'll see how I feel at the end. Uh, so the next color I'm going to go in with is this uh, Shamrock Shake. And it is the same concept, but it's um, like a seafoam color with little neon specks in it. Super, super cute. That's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Y'all couldn't see the color. Okay. Y'all should probably be able to see it. Well, y'all gonna see it when I paint. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, just, you know, try to get y'all a, a better view of it. And it's really pretty transparent teal color. This is really cute. I don't think I've seen colors like this before. Uh, Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and paint my index finger nail drip this color all right i'm not seeing many well, that's because the little glitter bits in here are a light color I 
and I'm just making sure that it is completely covering all of the whites. There we go, need some contrast in color. There is a dark blue speck that I want to get. I guess, you know, using a, sp a sponge will work also, but I ain't getting up right now to go get it. It's very tedious, but detail is everything. <laughs> you gotta make sure it is all covered so the look can come together. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It won't let me be great. <laughs> I just saw the little blue one too. All right, so I'm gonna use my dotting tool to try to pick some of these up because I don't want it to be too much blue. Like I want you to be able to see these little glitter bits that look like sprinkles. one right here and it refused to get on my dotting tool there we go yes I did all that for that pink glitter <laughs> that pink glitter okay I really like how that looks too I think I want to use one more mm. I think I'm gonna go with this orange one here It's really pretty. And I'm gonna further use the dotting tool just to make sure the gel polish is spread out evenly to really give the drip that glossy drip finish. Oh, you know what would be perfect for this? Uh, Can you hand me that piece of tile we bought earlier? Where is it? Did I bring it in the house? Okay. <laughs> okay, it must be in the car. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just trying to pick up more pick more little glitter things, but I mean it's fine. I don't you ain't gotta go out there. Absolutely. about happy with this so poncho was a little troublemaker 
What what he do? He got his head stuck in the fence now. Oh my God, Poncho! What he trying to get to? He Poncho, got a girlfriend. Poncho trying to get out. <laughs> Poncho got places to be. <laughs> he got ghosts to see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poncho got somebody waiting on him. He like, okay, I'm trying the to get there. Only thing make a man do all of this to get away. <laughs> It's another goat. He trying to go see over at the neighbors. All right. I believe I'm finally satisfied with the way this strip looks. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this. Oh, these are turning out really good. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm changing my mind again. Oh, no. I don't want to keep it white. Because I don't have any, like if I had some glitter that kind of matched that, then I could do it. But I really like how those, these little specks look. So we're probably going to do this lavender color on my middle finger and it's called a uh, cocktail time. And I can't see if I'm, okay, that's good. Oh, let me move it back a little bit for y'all. <laughs> Everybody talking about Poncho. Ooh. Okay, so that has cured very nicely. All right, so I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to use this. Um, well, hold up. I don't think I've been doing this. And this is more of a kind of a transparent lavender color with the same little glitter, pastel glitter bits in there. All right, so gonna do that on yeah because I just think the white would be too plain like I wouldn't be able to draw dots that look like that so for the sake of consistency we're gonna just paint over all of this purposely going for like that very kind of goopy look of it because <laughs> I want it to look like it's it's dripping it's drenching come through dripping drip drip that's all we can say before <laughs> you two try to copyright me <laughs> Jill polish is so pretty. <laughs> I know, <it's> like, <laughs> get a of, off. A lot of work. <laughs> get off the brush. You know what? I don't know why I did all that. Because I want the little drips to not have the glitter on it. You did that on the other nail. Did I? Yeah. Didn't change your mind. That is the beauty. You can just change what you want to do on the fly. Alright. That dotting tool kind of really worked though as far as spreading um, spreading about the color 
closer on the rounded parts of the of the trip have to decide if I'm satisfied yet before I care <laughs> and I just want to put a little bit more here oh yeah All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. That looks really good. Um, I also, well, before I cure, I wanna go ahead and clean up this drip here because I still want it to kind of keep its definition so I don't want it to be like too much polish. All right, go ahead and cure that. Ooh, these are coming out so cute. Especially for somebody who didn't know what design I was doing when I turned this camera on. <laughs> uh, let's see, a broken chain for production as are your neighbors acting better <laughs> yeah they're doing a little better they just a little just a tiny bit <laughs> they are so heavy foot like it rocks the whole ceiling it's crazy um let's see david taylor asks how long do you keep your nails before you take them off um probably a week at the most i get bored easily so i like to change my nails out often uh, Hippie Riffix says, I've been a stay-at-home mom for the past three years. Looking to get back into the industry. What are your favorite brands? So many new brands that I haven't explored due to only having husband's income. <laughs> Girl, me too. <laughs> I, I ain't got my own money. <laughs> um, well, you know, there are a lot of brands out there. Um, and you know, each, each one kind of has their own thing. Like there's some that are good for, um, you know, if you need more time to work with your product and all of that. Um, I can't really attest to that because I haven't really used that much stuff. Um, and you know, the acrylic system that, well, that I like to use is, um, my own, the long hair, pretty nails, <laughs> acrylic. Um, so, but before that, I mean, you know, if you just want to practice, I was using like, uh, beauty secrets. Um, that's, it's not good, but you know, it's good to practice with. <laughs> um, okay. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint my thumbnail, uh, the same as the pinky. And that is this, um, spike cotton candy. And just for my peace of mind, I'm going to go ahead and stop and start that. Let's see, Randa's asking, hi love, please do you have clear acrylic big size I need to purchase? Absolutely, we have all the acrylics are in larger size now. Um, they The small bottles are 22 grams and the large bottles are 88 grams. So yeah, they are available. So whenever you ready, girl. All right, so I'm just gonna do the same thing like I said with the pinky and just try to get these glitter bits on here. Try 
trying to see what glitter comes out randomly and then I'll go in and pick the colors that I want because it's just all pink want any glitter on the little drips oh there we go I've been looking for a blue glitter and it's gonna make me work for it there we go uh, and I want another blue the blues are being stingy in this bottle okay there it goes Go ahead, break out the dotting tool. And place that one over here. All right, and then just, once again, working the gel polish around the, around the corners, the edges of the, um, drips so it can just be fully covered because I'm not able to really get to the edges like I like with just a brush just want a little bit more pigment on the drips right and clean up any extra that's Messing up the definition. Okay, you can barely see that. All right, so then I'll go ahead and cure that. All right, so now we can move on to the bling nail. Oh, these were the crystal juice spill earlier. Shh. <laughs> I'm doing my business. <laughs> I know, I told you it was in the way. You was like, it'll be all right. be working I don't I just hands just be flying all in there <laughs> yeah, this is bad. nails by Reese hey what's up girl I guess I didn't see your comments in here I've been my head down but what's up girl thank you <laughs> came through dripping hey <laughs> Uh, I just did nails, I guess lipstick nails, the tips have the shape. I never seen anyone with that design. Uh, yeah, I, I've been kind of, I've been wanting to try those, but I feel like I'll probably break the tips of those, <laughs> but what happened? Why are you on? Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So now we're going to do some bling. I got all my crystals laid out, and um, let me go ahead and clean these gel brushes. I'm prepared today. I have a little dampened dish of acetone. These live streams go a lot faster when I set out all of my supplies. Okay, so I'm just going to 
Yeah. You ain't gotta show them all that. My <laughs> my desk <Damn>. junkie. <laughs> Let them see the real. <laughs> no, I strategically cut all of that out of my videos. <laughs> um, where is the? Oh yeah. Okie doke. Um, yeah, it's easier if I have a platform. All right, so as always, I'm going in with a combination of the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and Poochie Snails Top Coat. Are you moving? Oh. oh, okay. Oh, I just got to get my shot, so I'm just going to be like sitting here for a few seconds. All right, and um, like I you know said before in some of my videos, I know she discontinued this, but you know some companies they have everybody got their own version of some type of bling gel. So <laughs> try and see what works for you. Um, all right, so I'm making sure I'm in focus. All right, so I'll just start off with the bling gel. And this stuff is so sticky. Still didn't grab enough. <laughs> As you can see, y'all, I'm not, <laughs> I am not good with gel. All right, so. Um, you really don't need that much of this stuff, but since my nails are long, I just like to grab a, a good blob of it and then paint it on the nail. Um, and these tips aren't too bad. They, they are really clear too. All right, so I don't, I need to bring that in a little bit go ahead and clean my brush because I don't want any gel hanging over okay all right and uh, without curing you know while the bling gel is still wet I go over with a coat of the gel top coat And we're just oops <laughs> hit it again sorry babe just gonna go in with these uh, crystals and I'm just gonna use random sizes okay well And I don't really go in any particular order. I just, you know, work a few sections at a time. But that's the beauty about gel. You can just, uh, what's going on with my katana today? Okay. Let's have some dust on it. All right. Uh, yeah, I just work in sections. And I like to uh, put like the small crystals near the cuticle area and just you know fill in all the space I want this to be a little chunky so I am going to use some bigger crystals But yeah, this is going to be just full out bling. I'm going to have to move a little closer.
my contacts are really dry so <laughs> I'm having a little hard time seeing these little crystals big ones. I'm kind of just treat this like a puzzle. Well, I put the big stones on first and then I just fill in all the spaces with the tiny ones. Sorry, y'all. I have a problem. Mm, are you able to move the camera? I need to be close to my my um, face because I can't see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact: Evie is blind. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. After I get these on, I will get back into a more. Uh, okay. Y'all can see. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the struggle is real, especially for filming and doing nails. Oh, you know, I meant to actually do a um, kind of a background for this. But, you know, I kind of like the clear underneath. You know, clear is my thing. Periodically, I just like to wipe off my rhinestone picker because sometimes it gets gel on it and I don't want gel on top of my stones like I want them to be like really crisp um, so yeah just make sure you're not transferring gel oh, I got two on that one I 
All right, this is moving along nicely. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I love about gel. I don't feel rushed. Like, I tried the glues and all that, and I was not quick enough. I always, like, decide, oh, I want to move that, and then it's already glued in place. Also, I don't like to go all the way like around the, the nail. I mean, I'm trying to make sense here. <laughs> I don't take the stones like on the side because it makes the nail look wider. So I try to keep majority of them above the side of the nail. Because once it starts to fall to that side, it, it can really make the nail look wide. And although it, you do get a lot of play time with this, if you do take too long, the gel will start to warm up and kind of slide around. So we don't want that. And I'm just going to check for any gaps. That one has a gel on it. Let's take a little bit of acetone, wipe that off. So depending on how long that your nail is, you know, obviously if you have a really long nail, it's going to take a while to put all your stones on, but this one's not too bad. I've done longer bling nails, so. And I just like to push the stones, final push of where I want them to be. camera. I'm out of focus. Hmm? Come on. Come fix the camera. Uh oh. I don't know why. Ooh. Oh. 
this is so pretty. Okay, and then I just like to use my finger or whatever brush <laughs> to get the underside so there's not any spillage. A lot of people be asking me, especially for like the glass tips and stuff, like why don't you top coat the un underneath the nail? And it is because I just don't like to do it. <laughs> um, it's, I don't know, I just don't like it. But you know, everybody has their own personal preference. I probably I don't know, I'm gonna see how a stone looks here. Okay, so that looks amazing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this uh in the LED lamp for a full 60 seconds. In one second. I really don't like spaces, so. If there is space, I can fit a crystal in there. Okay, and then obviously before I care, I'm gonna go ahead and clean any gel that got on my skin. All right, I just got hubby move this camera all over the place, which y'all y'all see. <laughs> <laughs> Nari Hing says the bling is looking amazing, boss. Yes, <laughs> I just, I just love glitter and just sparkle. Everything just looks amazing. Um, David Taylor asks, how long does that take to dry? Um, I cure it in the LED lamp for sixty seconds. Let's. See. Tracy Evans hi Evie. Uh, I agree Evie I love the gel with the top coat because it shrinks wrap them when you cure and they last forever Enel Couture has the same as Poochie's but inexpensive and made in the US awesome yeah it's something about that double kind of uh, process of you know the bling gel and the top coat it really does keep them on forever all right, so I'm not gonna need the bling gel anymore. You know, I was gonna put bling on um, my other nails, but I think I think that's enough. All right, so now I am going to top coat the rest of the nails. Right, let me get back in here. Okay. Come on, slow punk. <laughs> you moved all over the place. Keep up with me. They wanna see too. All right, hubby say I can proceed now. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in with uh, the top coat. Let me see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat everything because the Madame Glam uh, top coat has, I mean, nail polish kind of has a tacky layer. And instead of wiping it, I'm just gonna go ahead and top coat because I don't think I made it clear, but the po the Poochie's uh, top coat is a no wipe. So you don't have to wipe it after you cure. It is just um, super shiny and I love it. Ooh, and I am really loving this. Like, I kid you not, guys, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> when I was wanting to do nails tonight. Um, so as you guys can see, like I have a, you know, the clear tip with the glitter peeking through. And for me, like that's pretty clear. And I don't really feel the need to go underneath the nail. For one, like if I were to keep the nails on, it's hard for me to get my e-file underneath there to get all that gel top coat off. And sometimes it even peels off. So that's kind of why I don't like doing it because it's just more hassle. And I really don't think it makes that big of a difference. I'm kind of mad that I put these um uh this base this peel off base coat. I hope these last at least a few days for me. Cause these are cute. And I got a little bit of gel top coat. Yeah, so I just Make sure to clean up around the cuticles. You don't want this to cure on your skin. No, my hands look awful, but that's okay. Cuticle oil will heal everything soon enough. All right, so, and then I just like to make sure that I'm not missing any anything. Like, I don't like to use too much top coat, but, you know, I don't like any dry spaces either, so. I feel like, you know, curing is like the final step, so <laughs> I want everything to be right before I cure. And because it's a lot of 3D-ness going on, I just want to make sure that the top coat is getting everywhere it needs to be. All right, so I like to paint all the uh, finger, well, do the top coat on, on the fingers first, and then I do the thumb last. So I'm going to go ahead and cure these for 60 seconds. Uh, growing cheetah she says I've been uh, an international certified nail tech for 12 years and I'm addicted to your channel been watching forever and you give me inspiration you need to be certified girl cause you're, cause you're bomb hugs and kisses thank you so much uh, nails by Reese says the shop charged so much to bling out one nail we are so blessed to have this talent. Absolutely. Like, I I mean, like this was like the driving force of me learning to do my nails was that I had no money. So, and like all the stuff that I wanted like to do, most people here, you know, in my city don't do all that. Or if they do, they charge an arm and a leg. So like, yeah, definitely. If you just into art, I would, you know, highly encourage you guys to learn so you can kind of just do um, the kind of nails you want to do and not be forced to just get what you can afford. You know, that makes sense. <laughs> All 
Let's see. Misha Bell says, wouldn't a cuticle bit help with getting underneath the nail? Yeah, it does. Um, but, you know, I stated before, I'm not really all that, you know, expert with the e-file. So, um, you know, I don't like when you file underneath the nail and then, like, you kind of can't get it um, as smooth as the top. You know, if that makes sense. Like, the e-file kind of leaves its own little lines and stuff in there. And I don't like that. Like, I like the bottom of my nails to be, like, super, super smooth. So, in my case, I just leave it alone because I will mess it up and then it'll be rough. And I don't, I don't like that. Nari Hing says, whew, it's 1.31 a.m. I'm going to bed. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Um, if you are interested, the playback will be available after we get off. And I will be doing a, you know, edited version of this as well. So if you don't want to sit through, I don't even know how long we've been on here, but... Oh, you see, y'all, I told y'all I'm not too bad. <laughs> oh, it don't really have to be. I'm just doing this. Not even close. I know. It don't even want to focus for me. Okay, there we go. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, I am slow. So before, like, more complex nail designs, it does take me a little longer. But for the most part, you know. But I don't really put a time on my stuff. That's that's another reason why I don't want to do nobody nails. Because I don't want to be rushed. Because then you'll be like, yeah, I went to Evie and uh, these are awful. <laughs> All right. So now I'm making sure I ain't got no top coat nowhere else. And we're going to go ahead and cure. And I got you moving all over the place. Whoa. Riley Power says, I can't believe I've been here the entire time. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Estella Garcia says, cute nails. Thank you. Thank you. Danasia Brown says, I just got my first set of acrylic nails and I wanted to get them long like you, but now they just make it do simple stuff. I do every day and I can't take them off because my mama will get mad. <laughs> yes, it takes some time to be able to, you know, get used to them. But, you know, if you have them on, I say for like a week, you know, you'll get used to picking up stuff. DJ Lex says, finally, I've been here since the beginning and just couldn't leave. <laughs> awesome. Your girl Tori Lee says, I'm loving the 3D effect and the bling is lit AF. Thank you so much. Big Red says, yes. Uh, yes, she is right. I got sick of getting the bare minimum at the nail shop. <laughs> so I learned to do my own. I know. They be like charging by the stone. Like, what is y'all doing? I mean, but I understand this takes a lot of work, but you know, I'm just gonna learn how to do it. All right, so, oh my God, look at the, why is my hand so dry? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gonna get, we gonna put some cuticle oil on cause these, this is too much. Oh, but I really like how these came out. Just gonna, gonna drop this all in my hand. Cause I, all right. Ooh, these are cute. <laughs> I'm just as shocked as y'all. Like, I didn't know how these were gonna come out, and I really, really like them. So, yay! Okay. 
will stop this camera for now. Ooh, OMG. I really like these. Ooh, that was a good view for y'all. I'm gonna flip my hand back. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all can see all the goodness. Um, let's see. Uh, Granite Fee says, you did a great job. Thank you so much. Uh, this is definitely the longest live stream I watch and it seems to go by so fast. The addiction is real. Oh my god, yes. I get caught for hours watching new videos. Uh, Malika asks, my, I mean, my daughter asks, Ma, are you really gonna sit there and watch the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, cause nails is life. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gucci Mademoiselle says hi. Hey, what's up? Miss Quita says been here since you popped up on my first screen saying you went live. Awesome. Thank you so much for sticking around. Oh, Gucci, you missed the whole thing. It's okay. Like I said, the playback will be available after YouTube encodes the live stream. And I will also be doing my usual video shortened version for y'all Patrima Gilbert says yeah most nail techs rush and some of the Chinese forget you pay them it's drama if you can find a good nail tech great but if not you can do your own better definitely I definitely agree <laughs> um David Taylor asks All right, so are you so you're gonna do your other hand tomorrow um <laughs> i don't know about tomorrow but it's gonna get done soon <laughs> uh good night y'all god bless everyone good night estella oh okay i was trying to hold my hand like that all right um nail spa reese is phenomenal <laughs> wow thank you girl thank you so much Oh, look at her be all in the, in the live stream. Live stream playback be available. All right. You just played along. <laughs> uh, Time for them hot chips now. Oh, yeah, them hot chips. Mm. Claudine uh, McDonald just missed it all. Shutting out from Jamaica. Always love your work. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the live stream be available, girl, so don't worry. Uh, let's see. Regina Bell says, can't wait to see the next theme. Girl, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll be, I'll be thinking of these like right before. <laughs> um all right y'all so we are going to head out of here it is late and i know you guys have been sticking in here a while you know i appreciate your time i really do um so yeah we <laughs> Aaliyah says hot chip time you know it <laughs> um but yeah we are going to head out of here and like i said i will update you guys on how the peel off base coat works um, shoot, I might keep these. Glue these bad boys back on when I want to wear them. If it if all goes well. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the love and support. Like, you guys don't even know. I was not expecting to have such a beautiful group of people to share my passion with. And I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you everyone, you know, once again for sticking around. Um, and I was trying to get this video out, the edited version, by Monday. So, you know, you know I'm, I'm going to try to take Sunday off because I'm tired. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're going to get out of here. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, you know, you sat through this whole thing, you might as well sub to me, you know. Um, but y'all have a good night. Everyone be blessed. And I will talk to y'all later.